is going on? How the fuck are you? Bonded. Anyway, I got a massive fucking load here. <laughs> uh, forgive me, I got some laryngitis going on here. Want to make sure all these chains are secured. I did another video where I chained down a bulldozer, and this is how I should have done it, okay? Like an X formation. Now, so far, all our chains are, are good. So far, except there is one that is not. And this is why you need to do your load checks, you see? I'll show you exactly what I mean. See, this excavator you would think is oversized, but look. The fucking track is right on top of the, the, the fucking rail, whatever. See, we have a problem here. See this chain? This chain? This link is supposed to be fully engaged into here, okay? But it's not. So, not exactly sure what happened, but whatever, that's why you do your load checks, see? Okay. So, we're gonna loosen that binder up a little bit. This one, right here, to be exact. Thankfully, the other chains are in pretty good shape. You see, that's how you wanna chain bulldozers and, you know, vehicle with vehicles with, uh, you know, steel tracks. That's generally how you want to do them. I like to use an X formation, but you do whatever you want. And always, uh, as you can see, I have a lot of uh, 45 degree angles, a lot of 30 degree angles. You see, that's another thing you want to prevent it side, prevent movement side to side. Uh, will also help you. Probably should have loosened it up just a little bit more, but I didn't, like, like an asshole. It's okay. Let's see what we can do, down. You see, that is more like it. You see how it's fully engaged. fully engaged. You see that? That's what you want. And maybe it was, but it didn't really look that way. I just wanted to double check and make sure it was secure. Okay. That's a pretty massive fucking excavator for those of you that don't know. That fucker weighs about, oh, I don't know, pretty close to 47,000 pounds. Actual fact. It like that. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Going the wrong way. Sorry about that. Really should have adjusted the chain a little bit. But, uh, it's been kind of a rough day today. Generally speaking, it's a good idea to wrap chains around the binders, okay? What I like to do is a snow cone technique, like that. You, you won't be able to do it for all binders, but it seems to work for me, okay? Well, it's close enough like this, right? This one is kind of a fucking mess, but I don't think it's going anywhere. And, uh... You know, tie it around lever binders, like such. Uh, ratchet binders, you kind of want to do this, so this way you can still, you know, move it if you have to, and that's that. Hope you enjoyed this video. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye.